So as we look outside the Mercedes-Benz Actress, quite a striking design, I'm sure you'll agree. Nice curved headlamps there, they give it a nice smart look to the front. And down at the bottom of the bumper we have our small little daytime running lamps there and fog lamp beside. And as we move up the truck, above the windscreen we have our sun visor there and air horns at both sides covered in for reduced drag and mirrors there on a full housing your wide angle and your bigger mirror there as we move down to the grill we will open the grill just click a button there at either side pull up your grill and you'll notice we have our coolant tank here would be nice if that was see-through but Mercedes has opted to have it black and down here we have our oil filler cap and washer fluid cap there and all our radiators here in front of the engine the six cylinder 450 horsepower close that down we have our step here at either side so you can step on the two of those steps and grab your handles there to clean your windscreen that is your step area there as we move around to the side of the cab now you can get this cab in a wider version so the wider cab would be eight inches wider than this cab and it would also feature a flat floor this cab has the slight hump in the middle but still plenty of space inside as we will see moving around to the side we have a 490 litre tank there very handy to have these little steps here that are recessed into the tank for climbing up onto your catwalk and our hydraulic fluid tank here that is just an option that has been put on this truck for tipper trailers and our full air deflector kit all around the cab for good aerodynamics as we move down to our chassis we have a fifth wheel which is fully adjustable you pull that lever there when you're under a trailer and you can adjust your fifth wheel by your trailer just by moving up and back and this will slide up and down as we move around to the rear those lamps are not led just normal bulb lamps two air tanks there and all our batteries go underneath this cover here and we just have a look at the back axle there and that big prop shaft down there moving around to this side we have our add blue tank and a big filter box here that is a big box for your emissions to keep those emissions meeting euro 6 engine compliance so that is more or less the outside of the Mercedes-Benz Actress. We will now hop inside and see what the interior is like. And this is our remote and our key. So we have simply unlock and lock and we can use it manually by sliding it out. So let's open it up and hop inside. So you'll notice straight away when we open the door, we have three steps leading into the cab and that is your hump over the engine there so not a completely flat floor in this cab in this particular model actress your driver's seat which is fully adjustable and also heated this handle is for the hydraulic system at the back of the cab for tilting your trailers and we have a remote control here for rising and lowering your back axle by that remote control You'll notice we have no clutch pedal. This is a fully automatic truck with 12 gears, just your brake and your accelerator and fully adjustable steering wheel there and storage on your door panel here. We can get a big bottle in there and storage up along there. So I'll open up the side locker now and give you a look at the compartment underneath the bunk. So it's quite a small area on the driver's side 
but there is a bigger locker on the passenger side which I will show you in a while but we will hop inside first and have a look at the interior that is very windy today guys <laughs> um, yeah so there is no top bunk in this particular actress but there is a very comfortable bottom bunk here nice comfortable mattress which is a good size and we have storage in behind that curtain and our night heater there on the back wall and storage over on this side also and nice grab handle there just above the driver's side window and storage in this compartment here and you'll notice we have one big door here which is covering three separate lockers I just open that up which all have their own lamps and more storage up here and on that side and another grab handle here we can lift up the seat base here and you can stand there and change your clothes so giving you that extra bit of headroom there to get the seat out of the way and we have a wide angle mirror here at the bottom and the big one on top and one out on the front windscreen and we also can open our sunroof here by those switches and our tachograph here above the driver's side we have sensors here on the windscreen for active brake assist and also your rain sensing and your light sensors on the windscreen fuse board is in behind that panel there and that is your dashboard so quite a nice design here all curved towards the driver our handbrake lever there two cup holders and a cup holder there and we can slide out this drawer hello and welcome to this review of the 118 scale mercedes-benz actros let me take you for a spin as you can see um, I put um, there's actually seven figures um, there's nice grab rail here where the soldier is holding on um, there's also footsteps here 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 and here there's a nice orange clear indicator here uh, there's also blue efficiency six um, sticker or transfer uh, it's in a beautiful um, white almost pearlescent color to the rear we have uh, two soldiers to the left we move to the rear we see we have uh, another soldier sitting on the battery compartment which would be here and um, we have an air canister here here's some nice lights here plastic uh, in clear red but the silver and the orange are actually painted on so that's kind of a uh, not too good but i think that's the only um, downfall of this truck uh, it's got some nice sort of like plastic mud guards it's even got mercedes benz imprinted here now uh, you got your two i think they call them chucks um you also get two which are removable in the actual uh, packaging got one here which is nice so you can actually put that behind the wheel here like so and you also got a second one which presumably would go on the other side but for um, purposes of just showing you you can actually see that they fit nicely just move that one out a bit more like so so that's good uh, prevents the truck from rolling so that's those two you get um, you also get a battery which I'll show you why that is uh, and you also get a bag which contains uh, some gloves for you to actually uh, handle your lorry 
or cab. That's all very nice. Um, detailing on this is superb. So uh, these two are actually fixed, so they're part of the moulding, so you can't um, remove those. If we move to this side, you can see further two soldiers and another blue efficiency six here. Don't know if you can pick out, but the paint is actually a white metallic uh, with really fine uh, flakes silver in there. Um, if we look at the uh, passenger's side, because it's actually a left-hand drive truck, you can, might be able to see him actually uh, holding on to another grab rail just here. Um, and you've got four steps, which is nice. And it's actually got the same print as the actual real truck. Which is equally as good. Um, got a little indicator here, orange. Uh, you got the uh, air vent for the exhaust fumes here, and you've actually got all the pipe work going up here, and then that comes out the side of the truck. Um, let's take these off now, then we can actually see the truck for all it is let's just show you a bit of a size comparison so if the figure standing there that's um, how tall the truck is the truck itself measures 13 uh, inches Measures 13 inches in length. Um, height, it's 9 inches. Just there. And the width is... You're looking at about... Uh, about five and a half inches so that's quite big the actual truck itself actually weighs four kgs so that's pretty heavy for such a well a compact item um, right so let's continue on with removing these from here there you go and let's remove the other guy So now we can have a look at the interior. So just bring that in there. You might be able to see the uh, Mercedes steering wheel and all the dials and such like. The floor plate looks really detailed. Um, the seats itself even though they're kind of like a grey black colour. It's a bit hard to see. Um, let's see if we can get, get some more light in there. Sorry about that. Nope, doesn't seem to. see the moulded uh, seats 
Um, it also has uh, moving armrests. I believe the other side does the same. It's a bit better you can actually see. Let's see if we can move this one so you can actually see it from this side. It's here. Very fiddly. see it coming down just there there it goes there it goes up so that's nice uh, lots of detailing on the cab um, let's see if we can see the seat from this side It's really dark. Um, as you can see, there's um, the opening features of the two doors that open and shut really well. It's got some nice detailing for the handles, even all the logos, the mirrors, proper perspex for the glass. It shuts really well for a proper clunk, like so. Um, bit difficult to open so what I tend to do is grab the mirror pull it a little bit put your finger in and then open like so uh, the mirrors are really good you can see just there you can actually see the reflection hope you can't see that Um, see if we can see this reflecting in it. I'll zoom into that maybe it might help. Let's see now. No, it doesn't seem to be picking it up. Let's see if we throw a bit more light on it. Just about see it there. Just move it up. Yeah, you can see it. So that's, look at that. You can actually see a reflection, which is really great. Um, there is a further grub rail here. The interior, of the door is really nice. So we've got all the detailing. Let's see if we can zoom into that. So you can see there's like little cubby holes to put your bowl, your handles there. Um, there's even switches up top there, which I don't know if we'll be able to see. Yeah, you can just see the switches. Just, let me get my finger in. Just here, you can see the little switches. That's cool. So you have the two doors that open. Like so. Also uh, you have a further mirror up here, which has got one of those domed shaped mirrors and um, there's also a dome shaped mirror here uh, be a bit hard to show you but there is one there uh, you've got the sun visor which has been painted matte black not sure
why that is because it should have been a smoke colour. Got these nice uh, grub rails here for holding on. Uh, apparently this is where these uh, panels would be kick panels and then you'd uh, actually come out like a, a step. So if the driver wanted to clean his windscreen, he put his foot on these uh, steps that would come out here, grab the rail and then wipe his windscreen. Um, as you can see it's got nice little driving lights here all the main beam and other lights, indicators, uh, running daylights, fog lights uh, not too sure whether that's green wash uh, for the lights and uh, nice grills you got a nice massive Mercedes badge followed by a very small Mercedes badge which has got uh, a lot of detail in it let's see if we can have a look at that You can see it's got the blue, I think there's even lettering on there, but I can't tell because it's so small. Um, there's also the uh, front open, so what I do is I grab this uh, wind deflector here and lift this up slowly, like so. And here we can see all the bottles and all the other sort of like uh, filling up um, bottles that need to be addressed so you don't have to lift the cab up all the time um, then we have the actual cab which raises so all we have to do is once uh, this bit is open we can actually lift the cab we just hold here and slightly edge this up there you go so this actually tilts all the way all the way like that so that's pretty big so that's the truck there um, you have all the air intakes here for the exhaust um, you have the engine let's have a look at that it's the Mercedes engine there yep so that's pretty cool um, you also have a battery compartment which is just here this is where that battery goes I was telling you about uh, we've got all this nice sort of like uh, mud guardy thing. Um, if you can see, he's actually got a like a suspension arm here, which actually works like so. so that's good. Uh, the truck is just really heavy. Um, what else? Um, if I show you the uh, lighting now, right? Oh, this this uh, thing actually here. I think this is for the trailer. I think they call it a fifth wheel. I'm not too sure, but that's what I heard. And this actually raises, raises like that, and then goes down like that. So that actually moves, which is nice. And there's also this handle here, which actually can be moved backwards and forwards, which uh, locks the trailer in. There's a little uh, latch here, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little latch here to actually see it wobbling. It actually moves back to allow the trailer to come in, seat in here. And what happens is, uh, this handle can be pulled which then makes this bit lock so then it, there's no way for it to come back out so that securely keeps your trailer attached to your rig um, 
Yeah, now if we uh, look at the lighting features, so you can actually lower this down like so and actually seat in these uh, U-shape things here actually seat in these U-shape, this thing seats into here like so and it's actually, you have to hear a little click like so and you know the cab's fully secure um, so if we whiz round and let's close this now and close this door like so um, and the inside there is actually a switch just here which allows you to uh, switch the lights on there's two positions three positions if you count the uh, off switch so if we switch that to the first position so you might be able to see if we look here there's blue light there that's just come on let me just switch that off so you can actually see it that's off and that's on there's also a cab light as well so there's actually a blue I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up there's actually a blue cab light in there might not be able to see it but if I maybe tip the truck up to make it out there's a blue light in there so that actually lights up at night which is nice um, so all it is is this switch here which will turn off the cab lights and then the badge light just like that so that's pretty cool um, the doors all shut nicely um, you also got these uh, metal aerials here so no chance of them snapping off these plastic ones here and also you have a, a metal aerial here that's cool you've got these uh, horns here and here uh, you've got extra fog lights on this nice like ball bar thing um, there's also um, steering, so the truck's so heavy you have to hold it up to steer it, otherwise you could break the steering mechanism. So if I just open this, like so, and I turn the steering wheel, you'll be able to see that the wheels do steer nicely. And they're made of a nice rubber, really smooth. So you can actually steer it like so. So that's nice. Um, also, you have all the uh, little bottles for the tanks, the opening caps here and here, and also here got these little indicators for running lights um you also got um, if you had a trailer you've also got these uh hydraulic cables which can be detached like so and they just clip back into there like that and you also have this one the second one which then also clicks back into here like so so 
So that's pretty good. Yep. Um, what else? Um, you can actually see the steering mechanism. If I just open this up. And lift this up again. It's really heavy. That's it. So, if we look here, this is actual the steering mechanism, which enables the truck to be steered, even when the cab's in the up position. So let's just um, try to show you that. Like so. Right, so let's show you the steering. So if I lift this up slightly and I steer. Receive even with the cab open, you can still steer, which is uh, pretty clever. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you it actually steering, steering, but um, yeah, that is a very, very nice truck. Um, the only one that I know of. Um, well, the only company that I know of that is making these is uh, NZG. Uh, it's truly a magnificent piece. I think it's available in uh, black, white like this one, silver, and I think there's a maroony red one. But I think the white one looks so much more better I mean, it shows all the crisp clean lines and all the detailing that can be picked up from it and it's got this nice metallic -y, pearly sort of colour um, there's so much detail even on the, the bolts the metal plates uh, there's no branding on the tyres but that's not bad I mean you've got the foot plates there to mount up onto here, uh, nice rear tyres and the steel rims with all the nuts and bolts in there, all the cabling here, lots of cabling in there. Yeah, so really nice. We've got like almost like shark fins here, which is nice. Um, as I said, very heavy. Um, so. You definitely have to find a secure and safe place where to display this because I don't think a um, glass cabinet will actually hold it unless you put it on the very last bottom shelf maybe. But um, yeah, very nice truck. Uh, on top you've actually got the uh, kind of like a little skylight window there which looks down into the cab which is nice. Um, yeah, this is a really nice piece. Um, I believe you can buy the trailers for them, but they're about £650, which is uh, a lot of money. I mean, this one was £205, which isn't bad, because um, I've seen these go for about three to £400. Um, you've even got the wipers. I mean, there's so much detail. It's, you know, if you just blink, you'll miss it. Um, but it is, it is truly a, a work of art, and definitely worth uh, purchasing. Okay, well, hope you've enjoyed the review, and I hope to bring some more in the future.